A new study from the University of New Mexico, it revealed some disturbing ingredients about what's really in your dog or cat's pet food. I talk a lot about pet food on this channel and rightfully so. I mean, of all the different things that you're doing to influence the health of your dog, the health of your cat, like clearly nutrition is huge. So that's why studies like this are important. And I also want to give credit to Susan Thixton of the truth about pet food. I and mean, that's how I became aware of this. The study is titled using pet food to investigate the effectiveness of whole genome sequencing in the authentication of highly complex processed food. So what that is, that's a big fancy way of saying that they're using DNA to investigate what the company says is in the pet food versus what's actually in the pet food. The six different brands of pet foods were tested. They didn't name the specific brands. The study abstract states that our tests found DNA of undeclared ingredients in every single one of the pet food samples tested. And two of the six pet foods tested, they had this, they had dog. Every single one of those pet foods tested, they had multiple ingredients not disclosed on the label. These pet food companies, it is obligated that they disclose on the label exactly what's in the pet food. They gotta write it down, they gotta put it down. If all the ingredients are not disclosed on the label, then those foods are considered mislabeled. Like that is against federal state laws. Of the six pet foods that they tested, they did not disclose somewhere between 12 to 17 ingredients on every single tested pet food. Can you believe you know, a couple of the brands had 17 ingredients not even listed? And then four of the pet foods that they tested, they were actually missing ingredients. They claimed they had X product in their food. It wasn't there. I mean, these ingredients included beet, salmon, and sweet potato. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, first, the FDA needs to do its job. Part of its job is to regulate pet food. And in terms of pet food regulation, is to say that what is in the food is listed on the label. 12 to 17 undisclosed ingredients. Clearly that's mislabeling. The FDA needs to do its job. A dog DNA, like actually evidence of dog found in pet food. It just gets harder and harder for me to believe what the company says in the food and what's really in the food. And how can any company that claims to be at least like a portion of it being ethical, like how can dead dogs be making their way into dog food? My third big point, you need to be feeding less of this, like less commercial dog and cat food, you know, making some of your pets food at home. Tula gets pretty excited when I pull out a chunk of beef and now once a week, that's now her meal. In the description box, I'm gonna add links to one, the article from The Truth About Pet Food, and secondly, a link to the study. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of what's really in your dog or cat's pet food. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, then you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.